All right, this episode is all about organically grown stuff. So we'll start with a trivia question, just because. Of all the organically produced products from Texas, what's the biggest money maker? The answer in a minute. I ask though, because prices for organic goods are usually much higher than what you pay for non-organic. But it turns out that the worldwide pandemic inflation thing that we keep talking about is closing that gap a little bit. An analysis of prices for 29 different products over a couple of recent years found that the conventional foods went up 13.9% while the organic versions rose by 1.6%. For instance, broccoli, the organic kind up 24%, but conventional broccoli went up by 141%. Boneless, skinless chicken breasts, the conventional kind, up 44%. The organic variety got 2% less expensive. So again, some of that gap may be closing, but the analysis still found that buying the organic stuff, which started out so much higher in price, still costs about 71% more. Now, Texas has only the fifth most organic acreage, and really it's just a small fraction of the total agricultural footprint here, but more Texas growers have apparently decided that this whole organic thing might be a good investment after all. The number of organic acres here went way down between 08 and 14, but then rebounded in 2019. The amount of money those acres bring in in sales is way up too, which gets us to our trivia answer. The most recent USDA survey I could find says the biggest organic cash maker in Texas registering $277 million in one year, livestock and poultry products like organic milk and eggs. Now, if it feels like that was a trick question because you thought I was only asking about the biggest organic crops, we'll do that one too. With almost $34 million in sales, peanuts, by far the biggest organic cash crop here. Admittedly, I would have guessed cotton and therefore I would not have been right on the money.